Hello everyone, this is James Nussbaumer and I am the author of The Master of Everything, a story of mankind in the world of illusion we call life and it is building momentum quickly and it's on sale everywhere books are sold and it is published by Ozark Mountain Publishing Company. The Master of Everything, a story of mankind in the world of illusion we call life by reading this book. The serious reader of this book will understand how to overcome feeling lost in the world. And that's what I'm going to touch on briefly here. Um, are you having a problem maybe sometimes overcoming feeling lost in the world? Maybe having to deal with tragedy? At times in our lives, many of us lose ourselves in the world, and we may feel as though the loss is beyond our control. We at times seem to have trouble dealing with emotional pain. But I'm, I am very convinced that personal tragedy is a time for unexpected learning, along with continued growth. It is instilled in every one of us to go ahead and transform our negative or bad experiences into positive outcomes. That's what I had to do. This is our natural right-mindedness at work. I mean, it's when we understand that all experience is time-bound. What I mean is, that tells us that whatever has a beginning must have an end. We need to live, we, we need to go, go ahead and accept the fact that we need to live beyond the beliefs of the world, where we have been conditioned to believe that the kinds of losses that we bring on ourselves label us as failures forever. And that's not so. I have seen this type of wrong-mindedness firsthand in the prison system, when in the name of rehabilitation, it teaches prisoners that they will only be suitable for certain types of jobs on the low end of the pay scale when they are released from prison. It seems as though their own training, it seems as though that their own training in, in how to improve prisoners' ability to function in the outside world has focused on helping them to get used to being treated like subhuman beings. Not only the prison system buys into this oppressive approach, but so does the general public, only because they're uneducated as to what really goes on. It's total nonsense, of course, but prisoners are not all uneducated pack animals, and you would understand that if you were one of the many who have made a mistake and went to prison yourself. But you don't have to be sent to prison as, the, as though you have lost your, to realize that you've lost yourself and gotten onto the wrong track. Believe me, I don't wish, any, don't wish going to prison on anyone, but, but so often many of us, we don't realize that all of a sudden we're on the wrong track. Somehow we got there. We've been going along and we're going this way. Don't realize we're going this way, but all of a sudden we're way over here. We're like, ooh, how did I get over here when I'm supposed to be here? It, it just, it happens. Whether your loss is due to your own negligence or mother nature or politics or anger or a separation from love, no matter what it is, it's okay. You can relax. In fact, relax is exactly what I've been doing and I hope to help you do the same. Much of my own losses, including actions, the actions that sent me to prison for a fully securities violation as a financial advisor, were due to my, my own making of wrong decisions, making just bad choices, bad decisions, driven. And ironically, it was my belief that I felt as though I could make things better for myself in family business, and personal matters. But that was a huge mistake that I made, but it was an error in thought, and, and these kind of things happen. My independence, I thought, was my real strength. There seemed to be a voice of fear in my head, fearing I wasn't successful enough, happy enough, or important enough, that I was certain I could drown out these, these feelings and thoughts with proclaimed positive thinking. But in fact, I was merely thinking like a separated mind from God. 
But the Supreme is not disappointing and is beyond anything imaginable. And the term separated does not apply to it. The term separated does not apply to the Supreme because the Supreme is wholehearted and imparts wholeness on all that it touches. It cannot be explained, but can be certainly understood from the heart. I like what A Course in Miracles states. You do not really want the world you see, for it has disappointed you since time began. My point, we are much of the time destroying ourselves by serving strange gods, inimical and false, rather than living whole and true. But you can truly be successful in this world and not lose yourself in it when you recognize the importance of being your true inner self and placing a high value in that. To honor that value is what means to be whole. Here's to living from your heart. I wish the best for you. So if you'd like to learn more about living from the heart, living your real abundance, there's a link in the description box of this YouTube video. My jamesnussbomber.com link is in the description box of this video. Click on it and it will take you to my real abundance page, which will give you some, some avenues to consider, some things to uh, research, a couple of other videos, some, some blog excerpts that will lead you to my blog pages and so on and so on. I wish the best for you and living the life that you really want without losing, without feeling like you're losing yourself in the world. God bless you.